Today I'd like to talk about how to create private APIs with the Layer 7 API portal. So the first thing to do is log in as an API owner. He is the person or the role that's tasked with managing your APIs. So here on my dashboard I can see I have a couple of tasks assigned to me, two unpublished APIs. So go ahead and click on one of those and we'll pull up my list of APIs. Right now we're communicating with the API proxy to find out which APIs are available. Here's one of them, the products API that is currently not enabled, has no apps built against it, no organizations using it. It's a brand new API that I want to bring online and have some of my key organizations help me test. So for testing purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and enable this Give it a name, we'll call it our products API. Give it a version, this is version one. And I'm going to click the set to private button. That means all the resources associated with this API will not be viewable unless you've been specifically assigned access to this API. I'm going to go ahead and choose my EULA for it. And I'm going to upload a WADL file for it as well. So under here, I've got a WADL file called products for it. I'll just upload that. That will instantly uh, populate my API Explorer with this products API and allow those developers that have assigned access to get to this API the ability to play with it in the API Explorer. And I'm just going to put a test plan associated with the test plan here so that we can test it out and find out if it's really ready for prime time. Click the Save button and we should see the status change from not enabled to private. And there it is. So I've got the products API already published, but still I need to go ahead and create some documentation for it. I'm going to go to my staging area, which allows me to create items within my CMS that aren't displayed to users until I've gone ahead and published them. So here I have a placeholder for my products API. I'm going to go ahead and edit that right now. The API here I want to associate with my new products API. That ties the two together. And I want to give it a title. We'll just call it the products API. I need to provide that documentation. Well, I passed around a template here in Word and my documenters have gone ahead and filled this out and provided some examples, provided some parameter inputs, provided quite a lot of information here, all in the standard Word template. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy all that, bring it back over here, and I'm going to use my paste from Word functionality. Go ahead and paste that. And you can see it's preserved much of the formatting, much of the um, tables as well. Don't need this heading. Get rid of that. And I'll click OK. So here's a preview. I'll just expand the window here so you can see it better. Here's a preview of what this will look like. I've got some tables, I've got some highlights, I've got some bold. It's all preserved from the original formatting in Word, but I've also got some example XML output. And what I want to do is just sweep all that up and apply our out of the box formatted style to it. That means that when I save this, you'll see it appear as a formatted example on the page. You can see here we've color coded it and broken it up and preserved the line indentations. It gives you a good example of what XML output might look like. So now I've got the products document done. I published my API. In publishing that API, I've also populated the uh, API Explorer. And of course, there's also an entry in the forums called Products API so that developers can go in here and discuss issues around this API as well. Now before I exit out of here, I'm going to go back to the documentation in the Products API document that I put in here. This is currently in staging mode, so I want a subject matter expert to come in and approve this, make it ready for prime time when they're fine with the structure and the way that it looks and the accuracy of the information, 
they can go ahead and push the publish button and that will make it live on the site. Now if I log out and I come in as an anonymous user, I'll click on the documentation and you'll see that that information associated with the products API is hidden from me. We said to private API, all those resources are hidden from anonymous viewers. You have to be expressly granted permission to access that information. Similarly, under resources, the API Explorer has no entry for product API, and there's no entry in the forum for products either. So if we want some of our key developers to help us understand that products API and how it works, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the business manager pick one of his key organizations, his key partners, and grant them access to the products API to help us test it out. And here's the list of the private APIs. I'm going to go ahead and add that and I'll apply it. And that will give them access now to that private API. But just to make sure they're informed, I'm going to go ahead and send them a message. So I'm going to take all private products API users and send them a message that says, uh, you've been granted access Uh, please help us test. And I'll send that out and that will apply to all those people who have been granted access in this case uh, under the gun consulting they should see this message on their dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and log out and log back in as John Gunn in this, in this case. So John is the administrator for under the gun consulting. Here is John's login and his dashboard and there's that message that we talked about. You've been granted access and please help us out. So let's go, let's go ahead and check out the um, new applications, new APIs that I can assign to my applications. So down here, let's choose the consulting tracker and I'll go ahead and edit that. And I'll choose, grab a new API. There's that products API, it's now available to me. I'll go ahead and click through this EULA and I'll save it down. Now that's given me access on Consulting Tracker to that private API. I'll also want to check out that documentation. When I click on the documentation page this time, you'll see that the Products API is available here, and I can read through all that information to understand how to interact with that uh, resource. I'll also go under the API Explorer, and this time around, again, the Products API is popped up here, and in the forums, the Products API is available to me as well. So all, those, all that information that was previously hidden to anonymous users granted access to John Gunn, and John's able to log in and work with that private API.